What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited about this video today because we're talking about zines and printing. In this day and age where everybody just posts their images on Instagram or on threads or maybe a blog, uh, you're not getting the satisfaction of photography in its fullest capacity because you're just looking at images on a screen, looking at them physically, whether in a book, an individual print, a zine, that is the way to enjoy your images. And that's why I'm very happy today to talk about these two right here. Uh, this is the My I Got Lazy zine. Yes, it's pronounced My I Got Lazy. Uh, really cool phrase, and it's the name of the zine. And basically, this is put together by two street photographers here in New York City, Cisco and Ja. And they basically decided that enough is enough. We aren't enjoying our images the way we're supposed to. And in putting these zines together, he's helping people actually see their images in printed form. Um, and I say he, I mean both of them. Um, they created the zine and now they've got a whole series going. They've got issue number six is the most recent one and who knows where this is going to go. I'm very excited to see how far they can take this. I cannot urge you enough. If you've never printed your images, if you've never participated in the zine like here, like a community zine or created your own zine, you have to do it. It's going to make you appreciate your own photography and it's going to really take your head away from that direction where you see things on Instagram and you see it's got 20 likes and you're like, wow, my photography sucks that all becomes completely irrelevant because when you see this stuff physically, it's about you and your experience. And what other people say at that point really doesn't matter. You're feeling good about it. You're feeling good about the images you created and you get to touch them and experience them in real life, not as, you know, pixels on a screen. So I definitely recommend you do that. Let's actually jump into the zine and check it out. And I'm also gonna put some interview snippets with Cisco and Ja so you can learn more about them and hear directly from them as to why they created the zine and what they love about it. First off, I wanna show off the cover here. Really beautiful photo and it's quite a sight and it kind of sets the tone for this entire zine. It's about sport, it's about culture, it's about people, it's about character. So this is already off to a fantastic start. I just wanna pull this out here, this little bookmark. There's actually a set of trading cards that is part of the official zine release. This is actually my trading card here. So every photographer in the zine has their own trading card. And this is me right here, Eric Ribsy Terribio, featuring the image of mine that is in the book. My name is Jean-Andre Antoine, AKA Ja Photos. I'm a Polaroid, analog Polaroid photographer, and also co-founder of My I Got Lazy. My name is Francisco Vasquez. I'm a New York City street photographer. Uh, I've been shooting for about, since 2007 but very ser you know, serious within the past uh, almost 10 years. Some really beautiful stuff here. A lot of abstract work to start us out. Really big play on shadow and light, and these images pair so well together. In fact, you even get the orange and teal thing going on here. Um, but really beautiful work already. And yeah, just a lot more of that. A lot of New York City featured in this as well, obviously given that um, the founders are from New York City and a lot of the photographers featured are from New York City as well But it's not limited to just that this is global as you can see in some of these images But again a lot of really interesting shadow play and when we talk about Sports and street photography this zine is already hitting it's featuring a lot of really interesting images That fit both themes simultaneously, but also offer very very different things depending on the image that you're looking at And as you can see it kind of jumps around between color and black and white but of course that factors into the image pairings as well. This is honestly a huge joy to look through, just given the, the diversity in this zine, of all the different types of images. A lot more black and white here. I think some of these images were made in Cuba actually, or maybe the one on the left was. I'm not sure the one on the right, but that's Matt Weber, the homie right there. Real quick, as you're probably already aware, New Classic Film is shutting down. Because of that, we're offering our film on a big sale price right now. Check the link down below to see the sale price and go cop a few rolls because this is moving super, super fast and we've got a little bit left. Wanna offer it to you, the film community that supported me so much. We're selling this film at cost, so I'm not really making any money on it at this point. I just wanted to get it out and get it in your hands. Thanks for the support. So My I Got Lazy is a project that came about in December. Um, and basically, you know, just to keep it simple, I wanted to make it a place for photographers, active photographers, to share their work on, uh, on, a, on a printed um, platform, you know, on print. Uh, because now everything is on digital, we're scrolling, we're not listening to the music, we're literally just like scrolling through images, and I feel like that's hurting, and I'm not the only one that's have said this before, but the intent is just to see your work printed, because seeing your, your work printed, I, to me, I feel like it brings it to, to life. It gives you a purpose, it gives you a reason, to, to keep shooting. 
um, beyond just just Instagram and, and social media and all that. And not to knock it, but you know, I, I think we need to kind of bring it back and, and, and see how beautiful our work is from a, a print perspective. Seeing all the work come together as a unit. You know, a lot of people flip through the mag and one thing they always have been consistent is that they think it's one photographer, which is always beautiful to, for them to even think that one person, you know, has this type of variation, but it's also that the work speaks to each other. You know, one lends to another and it, it you know, it kind of comes across all the way through. So that's always been, I mean, for me, the, um, the best part of doing this is seeing that come together. You know what I mean? And here's some more color work. And I love how vibrant the colors are in the zine. Um, I don't think this is the most expensive print quality, but it's really good print quality. Um, and the colors are really popping through, which hopefully is the intent of the edit for the individual photographers. And these images right here, I just want to call out Andrea Torre. Her images are incredible. She's my favorite photographer in the zine. If you don't know who she is, go look her up because her work is ridiculous. A lot of really beautiful play on strong color. And then some, some kind of humor in her images as well, such as this one. But then a lot of also kind of more you know, hard hitting uh, street images as well. Some more color here. This is all, well, this is in New York City for sure. I'm not sure about this one on the right, though. I'm assuming it's not. A couple more street images here from New York City. We've got Steven John Irby, AKA Steve Sweatpants here, another local guy. And of course, Gene Andre, who is one of the co-founders of this mag and one of his street images, which he doesn't show off that much. I'm excited to see a lot more of his street work because he's typically known for his um, analog Polaroid portraits that he does in the street as well, but this is more documentary style street photography My favorite part has been the community aspect uh, Because I really think that we do need it especially in, in an age where um, You know, I've heard this a lot where different um, You know, there's collectives in New York and and that's a knock on them I think they're doing good things, but I've heard a lot of things regarding how um, clicky they've gotten or this and that and I've seen it but you know I want this I, my favorite part is to, to make this into a community make it a space for people to share their work beyond the digital and, and social media the value is in community and the value is in people appreciating each other and uplift, uplifting the whole craft um, a little bit of everything you know that's the whole thing when you first starting out something you do everything uh, we're curating we're financing we're do, we're shooting <laughs> and we're doing everything. Um, and that's the beauty of it because to lend your skill set to something that you're a part of is also dope. You know what I mean? It's like to have access to all these creators and to be able to produce along with them is always dope. Um, for those of you who have some New York City fatigue, well, I'm sorry, but love New York City in these images and they flow so well. It really does bring the zine together nicely. It makes the theme kind of hit a little bit stronger. Some more color images right here. Really cool images, image right here of all the girls in the hijab playing soccer on a basketball court. It's just a really cool image full of different contrasts, but they come together so nicely. And honestly, you know what's cool in this zine? There's a lot of images shot on film, and there's also a lot of images shot on digital, and they blend together so seamlessly. I think the texture of this paper helps kind of soften up a little bit of the, the, the hard digital stuff. And then of course, film delivers its own kind of soft, yet still very high-end look. Um, love this color right here. Just pops so well. And of course, the final image of the zine there. A couple shout outs to all the people that are helping out with the effort. And just a little blurb here that says, My I Got Lazy. In an age where photographs are enjoyed for the most part on digital screens, My I Got Lazy is a self published print movement with a focus on active photographers beyond social media algorithms. Our objective, our objective is to highlight a diverse group of creatives that represent contemporary culture. Amen. I love it. And then this is the back cover of the zine here, which I really love as well. Really cool image. Um, Times Square on the 4x4, just wilding out in the streets. Classic New York right here. Definitely check out the zine if you want a copy. Go on the website, and I think they still got a few for sale. So it was great experiencing the zine. It was great being part of it. I'm very happy that they allowed one of my images to be in that zine. And I encourage all of you to follow them on Instagram. Follow what they're up to because there's going to be a lot more zines coming. And they're very interesting, different themes every single month, and they're doing really cool stuff. And they're also doing some live events to help promote this and bring the community community together. So definitely encourage you to be part of that. All right, y'all, that's the video for today. If you enjoyed the video, please click that like button to help me out. And of course, talk to me in the comments. Let me know, what do you think about this zine? What's your experience with zines? And do you agree with me that printing your images is the best way to enjoy them? 
All right, y'all, to the next video. I'm out.